Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, so for this episode, I am actually using a slightly different method to record uh, the episode, to record the commentary. Um, basically, I'm just using a method I recently used for James Bond, Everything or Nothing. That walkthrough should be available on my channel by the time I get around to finishing and releasing this. So basically I'm just recording the commentary in a separate file and then I'm gonna get rid of all the background noise and then sync it up with the video. So hopefully the end product will be a bit better than the episodes and the parts that have come before this. Anyway, where did I leave off last time? Last time we robbed the train with John Marston Sean and Javier, I think. Oh, yeah, I think it was Javier. And yeah, that's pretty much you know where we left off. So now I am off to go see Micah, who is hiding in the somewhere up here. He's hiding in the mountains somewhere, just outside of Strawberry. And I can't remember how the hell I get. Ah, there we go. Oh no! Oh, that's that was nasty. That was nasty. Oh god, my horse is fine, yeah. Good. Let's go, girl. I hope that blood was from me and not from the horse. The horse's health seems alright. Yeah, right, let's go and see what Mike go wants. Hey, Arthur. Good to see you. Why? You want rescuing again, do you? <laughs> no. I got a plan to make it up to you. A oh, plan like the Blackwater Ferry job, or like you going off scouting and ending up in jail? <laughs> Dutch said you was a, a big shadow cast by a tiny tree. I don't even know what that means. Mm, I thought you was a tough boy. <laughs> Not one of those gentlemen. <laughs> Trying to protect his riding clothes. Well, I just know whenever things get real, you turn yellow and lose your head. Yellow? Sure seems that way. So I guess you won't be riding with me to rob the banking coach comes about this time in the strawberry. I heard one of the O'Driscoll boys yapping about it while I was inside. You and me? Do a robbery? That's what I said, didn't I? After you. <laughs> yeah, I'm... I know an overlook where we can watch. I've got to do a robbery with the uh, with twenty-four bullets to my name. What are you doing anyway, camping out here like some crazy hermit? Can't exactly stay in town now, can I? Like I told you, I ain't going back to Dutch without a peace offering. So what's the deal with this coach? What do you mean? Comes through about this time every day, like I said, the end. I mean how many men? Guns? Riders? Nothing serious. It'll be fine. I heard the bank's been hiring every trigger man they can get of late. The meaner, the better. You worry too much. Forgive me if I ain't wholly faithful in something an old Driscoll told you when you was half drunk in a jail cell. He kept yapping about it, saying how they've been hitting it on the regular. That's a good lead in my book. Damn old Driscolls are everywhere now. Bastards got a hold of most of Big Valley. Heard they took over some big ranch north of here. How the hell you and Lenny end up down here anyway? Oh, you know how it is. A few loose ends. Drink here, drink there. What loose ends? Nothing that needs to concern you. I always pay my share. It concerns me when you put us in danger and we don't realize till it's too late. Like that move you pulled in Strawberry. Making me kill half the town just for your precious guns. Precious they are. You need to roll a little looser, Morgan. Looser? I've seen you come full undone more than once now. And you've only been running with us a few months. Are we going to rob this coach or bicker about it? What's done is done. Yes, we're robbing it. Then let's do it. Alright, so 24 rounds. I'm going to have to do my best to conserve ammo at this rate. 
can't go shooting and going nuts. I'll leave that to Micah. Yeah, I've, I've, I'm going to say this repeatedly throughout this walkthrough, but it's just the most beautiful game I have ever seen. Should be here in a little bit. Hold tight. Which way will they be coming in? Should be from over there. We need to hit them fast before they get into town. Well, just don't lose your head this time. Of course, tough guy. <sighs> All right, let's do any minute. Yeah, so this is the best one. I don't, I'm not a fan of the Cattleman revolver. Right uh, so, Schofield, it is. Oh, yeah. Couple of headshots in a row there. Alright, no, two guys left. Wait for it, and boom! Missed. Ah, shit. Okay, let me get closer. you smell so I'm gonna keep the uh, bandana on just to protect my nose Hurry, get up. I'll drive. the what does that say the bowls overland stagecoach company I got 30 rounds and a double barrel shotgun now 30 rounds of, like, the Lancaster Repeater is my favourite gun in the game. Like, favourite rifle. Here. Find new rifle, too. Here you go, Arthur. From me to you. That's more your style than mine. What did I tell you? Like licking butter off a knife. Something like that. You don't want to just break it open here and be done with it. Could be more than we can carry. And there might be a second crew of riders tailing. All right, then. Not to mention, we ride back in with a big take and a new wagon to boot. Dutch can't say we ain't pulling our weight no more, can he? I ain't sure I trust this new act of yours one bit. Listen. Oh, no shit! Now we're being robbed! Get across the river! Oh, that's nasty. What the hell? Come on, Arthur! Get out of there! You dumb bastards! You okay? All right, I'm kicking. I'm kicking some serious ass here.
Oh god, uh, right, Schofield. Down to my last five bullets. Since when did you have a problem killing O'Driscolls? Uh, huh. <laughs> You've got a point. Let's strip this coach, then. It clearly ain't going nowhere now. You know, we should really pick up a lock breaker one of these days. Save ourselves some bullets. Yeah, because saving bullets is such a concern of yours. That should do it. Come on, let's see if all this was worth All I see is you, me, a river full of... Dead O'Driscolls and a lockbox. I'd say we're golden here, Morgan. Look at that. Okay. What's the cut here? There's good. Now that's Make over. Sure let's go to Valentine. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, big shadow, tiny tree. And like I said, that still don't mean. No, that's enough. cool. I'm not far Get away from here. Valentine. I need to go to the gun Make shop. Sure you ain't followed. I know, boss. I'm gonna I know. Uh, match up my pistols now, fun. like the revolver, uh, revolvers. Uh, tired of having one cattleman bloody revolver. So yeah, two two Schofield revolvers, both black and steel. One with a black handle, another one with a white handle, and then I'm gonna call them ebony and ivory. Or ebony and pearl, I don't know. One or the other. And uh, between this episode and the next one, well, this part and the next one, I will be doing my uh, best to sort of find out where or where or how you, you unlock the Lamat revolver in single player. Because I've been, I've known I've banged on about this for, you know, a, a while now. More or less the entire walkthrough, but I just really want that gun. It's like a nine-shot revolver. That's 18 bullets you can fire with having to reload. And two shotgun shells added to that. They're just powerhouses. But I'm, you know, if I have to, I will travel to Saint Denis now. And, <laughs> like at this in the game, just to buy those revolvers. Uh-oh. My fault. Wasn't looking where I was going. And he pulled out his gun. Hey! Come on. Don't shoot my horse. Yeah. Bastard shot my horse. I can't believe it. Shit. Ah. Alright, hang on. Let me get... Let me, let me give my horse something. Uh, but there we go. There we go. action one's not too bad, I don't think. I think I'm sorry. Yeah, right. Uh, we'll do. Uh, okay. Metals. Good to see you again, pardon. Okay, now let me see.
carry it with pride. I'd just like to give this a personal touch with some engraving. Ooh, hang on. Carvings. And varnish. Yeah, that's not kind of components of a grip. All right, that will be the ebony one. Oh, if fine. Yeah, yeah. Right, I'll get... Running around New Hanover, right, I... I'd be out of business. I don't understand why you anyone would downgrade that and go from a long barrel to a short one. How about you get some new sights for this, huh? It's yours now. I bet this will shoot better with some new sights. We can do a lot with this. New trigger, brand new bolt, your pick. you love it. Got what I need. Okay. Good. Ain't no trace of rust on that as far as I can see. You know what? I bet I can make this piece work a lot better for you. Bolts, triggers, parts, back here. Essential, I reckon. You want to make this really yours? Yeah, right. Give me a personal engraving. Yeah, well, thanks for that. Carbine, Lancaster, repeater, clean components. Loading up on extra ammo. Yeah, it's beautiful condition. Keep it up. Okay, I need a. You know what? Bet you you can use some rifle. Do not disturb. So it's, it's going mental. You'll be very pleased with this. Yeah, right there we go. Okay, uh, put this into. Smart addition. Black, maybe? Yeah. I'd just like to give this a personal touch with some engraving. Yeah? Nope, hang on. I just remembered I put my pistol down as a bid in poker the other night. I can't recall who won that, though. Damn. It does seem strange to me that they'd need so many guards with Cornwall, kerosene, and tar. Must be something else going on there. Yeah, right, and I'm back. So, where was I? Uh, Listen to right. the folk around here. I do not and will not ever do arms business with no gang. Actually, hang on. Um, so the oh, 
Oh, there's only. Oh well. Ah, oh, that's fine. The more bounty posters that go up, the more people flock to my shop. Plenty of reason for that, Valentine. That works just as well, though. If he says, yep, then just leaves. I know it's cutting the conversation short, but still. That works just as well. Alright, let's do this. Oh, wait. You're that fellow who had to fight with Tommy outside of Smithfields? Yep. Arthur, Arthur, come lend a hand. I'm like, no, I will Morning. not. All right, John, what have you got going on? Scar. I heal pretty fast. Lucky you. So you just lazing about him. You got any leads? I got something. You see them? Sure. Well, you see yourself as a shepherd now. Maybe. Come on. Well, where exactly are we going? Collect something. Help us get some sheep. Uh, you know, that attempt to seem all enigmatic and interesting. That might work for Dutch, but for you, it just makes you look stupid. Come along. You'll see. That train job was a start, but we need more money. Until we can get back to Blackwater and collect. I'm here to tell you. We try to collect that money anytime soon, it'll come with a noose. I was worried you'd say that. Dutch says that we... Dutch says a lot. That's his gift. Saying things. Oh, yeah? What do you mean by that? I was a prize pony once. Now I'm the workhorse. Listen, Dutch is... But... But, well... Okay. That thing in Blackwater. But, yeah, where are we Pinkerton going? Scene. New century's coming. Oh, this no, I, I remember. Way? Well, we're the last, I reckon. I remember what we're going for. We're going for a sniper rifle. And that's the way it goes, I guess. For me, yes. All right. Where are we going? Just need to pick up something. There's a hitching post over there. Tether the horse and I'll meet you across the street. Good morning. Uh, I already don't like how this is going. Gun store. Yep. Can you uh head in, pick up a sniper rifle? Okay, I can just skip that conversation oh, well, entirely. How can I help you today? Looking for a rifle? Something with a sight on it. Shouldn't be a problem. You want to see what we've got? It's all in the catalog here. I'm gonna have to take this on credit. Uh well, no, wait, we ain't even discussed terms. Or I can take it in a way that ain't so pup. Good? Sure. <laughs> Let's go. Why couldn't you have done that? Done what? Bought that gun. Ah, I had a run in with that fella earlier. We ain't on the best of terms. You had a run in. I've had a run in with half that town. Calm down. It's done now, ain't it? Why are you being so cagey about all this? Always playing some goddamn game. Me? 
I ain't the one taking Jack on fishing trips. No, you ain't. If you say the boy ain't yours, what's the difference? You probably only run off again. Why are you so interested in my life? Ain't you got one of your own? Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once, that's all I'm saying. It ain't that simple. You know that as well as anyone. Same as with you and that was girl. vague. Yeah, I know that place. Okay, so we're uh, herding sheep now. Just the same. Anyway, for the love of God, will you tell me what you got me doing here before I turn around? That's just fine. I mean, that's uh, that's like a that's like a like a mini game, I think, in the first red that doing the sheep. That's like a bunch of side missions, I think, because I know you do it once in the main one of the main missions, and then I think like. You can just keep going back to the, the ranch, McFarlane's ranch, to herd sheep. And horses and whatnot. No, buffalo, isn't it? Not sheep. Or whatever. Cows. There you go. Hold on now. Let's head up to the ridge up there. Get a proper view. Yourself. Reckon we shouldn't get too close. At least not till we know what we're dealing with. Let's see what we can see from up here. Yeah, that was easy. I really need a, a sniper rifle for that, though. Good. I could just use the Lancaster. Over there. So what now? It's not like I had to hit any of them. Okay. Those cowboys I know are dumb as trees. How hard can it be? I guess we'll soon find nah, this out. isn't that hard. You just get these sort of right near them and they the just yards. run off into a crowd. And Whoa. All right, I think we got them all. Let's head to town. And that basically explains you why John has no idea how to hit. Why don't you leave the sheep to me? You ride Shank, keep watch for any trouble. I brought you in on this. It'll Whoa. be quicker this way. Trust me. Say the right time for you to be so That's like a big thing in uh, the first Red Dead, isn't it? That he doesn't know how to herd, and uh, uh, Bonnie McFarlane has to teach him. So that's, this is basically why. It's because no one else taught him. The only occasion where he could have learned, someone else did all the work. I'm not actually herding these guys. They're going on their own direction. I'm just running behind them. Like in the first one, you could literally like. Well, actually, I kind of. I suppose I am sort of steering them, like somewhat haphazardly. 
But it used to be a lot harder in the first one. Uh, like, they, they just run off and shit. And you had to sort of, like, go and get them. But these guys are very well behaved. Oh, thank God, the sheep's fine. Come on. Oh, that I, yeah. I did not like the idea of running over that sheep. What are you riding over him for? This will go a lot faster if you shut up, Marston. Nearly there, come on. Come on. You've done the hard part. Yeah. Those are up, boys. There you go. Fine sheep. They're okay. Well, you seem better around here. I've seen ones with less ambiguity about their provenance. <laughs> A lot less. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say you give me 25% kickback, and I won't say nothing to nobody. Everything all right here? Excuse me? Sure. I'll excuse you. For 25%. Do you want me to put another hole in your head? Folks swing for rustling livestock. 25%. Oh, I think 15, I might know what this mission is. Uh, I may remember 10. now. Calm yourself, friend. Just think of it as I'm buying your sins. Uh, you're buying. But we're paying. Go on now. Come back after the auction. You'll get your money. All right, girl. Dutch is waiting for us at the saloon. He is? Okay, I'm taking my rifle. Uh, mm, I'll, I'll just take one rifle. 18%. I thought we was doing the robbing here. Still good money. Okay, let's go see what Dutch Thanks wants. Thanks for all the help with this. Can't herd, can't swim. Give it a rest, will you? We ain't kids no more. No, I never really was. Come on, sunshine. I'll buy you a whiskey. Not everything, but in the end. I don't believe in absolutes, just shades of gray. Compromises. Compr uh, gentlemen. Dutch, Nepo. Where have you been? Working. Marston's thing. Good. And? We're just waiting to get some pay on a few sheep. Leopold, my good friend, as long as you're here, why don't you and John go make sure there ain't no funny business? Of course. Gentlemen. Drink? Yeah, oh. Sure. <clears throat> Nothing like talking to old Strauss to make you want to blow your own brains out. I should have left him where I found him all those years ago. Bookish little Austrian, fresh off the boat, his eyes out on stalks. Well, I guess the Dutch Vanderlyn finishing school has some strange graduates. That it does. To your good health. Thank you. What the hell? You don't know me, but you keep robbing me. 
My name is Leviticus Cornwall. I am not a man to be messed with by the likes of you. Get out here before I have these men killed. What do you think? Get out here, well, I... you depraved piece of trash. You start spinning the yarn. Oh, here we go. When I think the moment's right, I'll make a move. Why not? You rob from me? Vandalin, you're done. Now get out here now. Oh, I deal with this nonsense. Please, gentlemen, this is a terrible mistake. This is a case of mistaken identity. What is worse than admonishing a man? For the sins of another who wants to be the Messiah. Not me. Nor do I want to be this Dutch Vanderlyn, whomever he may be. I have quad count so far. Oh, that was in the eye. How many guys did Cornwall run this place? I've shot up the entire town. All oh, right, I have to pick him up. I didn't realize. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you are. Yeah, but I'll take out these guys first. Oh, that was between the eyes.
Come on, what the hell are you doing? You make sure nobody's following us. We'll get back to camp. We're gonna gather the troops. All right, let's ride. Start packing up. So we can't stick around after this. Let's go. <laughs> They're gonna be chasing me, aren't they? Well, then again, none of them had horses. In yeah, you know, as far as I know, so I should be all right. That being said, I'm sure they can find horses if they need them. All right, perfect. Well, I'm gonna call it a day here. I think. Um, yeah, I've done a lot this in this episode. That's it's been uh, rather productive. Did that thing with Micah doing this so in the next episode i believe i'll probably be doing the mission that takes roads the next sort of town you go to the path <laughs> i suppose like in the main story and the next chapter of course which i think it's i can't remember it's the place we end up sending camp i can't remember what it's called for now though that's pretty much all there is for this episode if you could leave a like and a comment for the episode let me know if you prefer this way of doing commentary for my uh, for my videos. I think it's going to be a bit better. I, expect, I can definitely sort of like pump out well content on my channel a bit quicker by doing this, because I'll be able to do commentary and no commentary, record them at the same time. Because all I need is the, the the commentary audio track, I suppose, and I can just overlay it on one version, and on another version there won't be any. And I don't have to do it with this uh, this uh, walkthrough because I've already got a non-commentary walkthrough for Red Dead. But I'll be doing that with some of the newer games I play. For now, though, that's all there is. So until the next time, you look after yourself, you take care, and be sure to have a great day.